LaptopKey.com, your source for replacement keyboard keys. Notice, when trying to repair your laptop keyboard keys, searching by the laptop brand and model may not always be enough information. Many times, laptop manufacturers produce keyboards that look the same on the outside, however, have differences underneath the keys. The differences include the hinges, retainer clips, and cup color. To help you find the correct tutorial for your key, we have created a searchable database at LaptopKey.com. Simply go to LaptopKey.com, select your laptop brand, model number, and then a visual list of key types will appear. Select the video tutorial that matches your key. That's all. You're now ready to fix your keyboard. All right, so uh, we're going to install the key onto the keyboard. Start out by looking at the large metal plate that's at the bottom. You can see that there's two at the top that are smaller, so different keys can change positions. Sometimes the large hook can be to the top or to the side, and the position for those metal hooks on the keyboard determine the position for the plastic hinges. So we're going to click, click these two hinges together to make one, and we're going to click that onto the keyboard and finally the keycap on top then after that we're going to go over the large key which we're going to use an enter key for and finally the space bar so for the uh, J key you can see we're going to start with the large hinge here and it has two small pins at the top corners and two larger ones in the bottom corners and the small pins you want to align with the um, the large hook so the large hook is down there we're going to put those small pins down there now make sure not to put the whole piece upside down uh, simply by feeling the vertical bars if you feel it's smooth that faces away from the keyboard if you feel there's a bump in the middle or an extra piece that faces and touches the keyboard. So that's the right position for this piece. Put it down in the right position for now. Get the next piece, which is this. And this has uh, two pins at the top that are going to click onto the keycap, two pins in the middle that are going to go inserted into the holes that are in the middle of the large piece, and the bar at the bottom. That bar at the bottom is going to go underneath the large hook so that's how you know not to put it like this alright now make sure not to put the whole piece upside down by feeling or closely looking at the top bar um, if you feel or see a discontinuation on that top bar that faces the keyboard and if it's just one smooth piece from side to side uh, that faces away from the keyboard so now we know the position for both pieces it's like this we're going to put the small piece over the large piece and in, uh, insert that left pin onto the left hole that's on the large piece but at the same time you want to put the small uh, the I mean the bottom bar of the small piece underneath the bottom bar of the large piece so you kind of have to do that at the same time and you do it just like that once those are in place you hold the corner down so nothing comes out of place and now we have to insert the other pin onto the other hole you do that by separating both pieces from each other in order for the, the pin to have enough space to go into that hole now both hinges are one you put the bottom bar of the small piece underneath the large single hook then you hold that in place now we need to get the pins that are at the top underneath the hooks that are at the top so we hold it in place but at the same time you kinda wanna stretch the hinges upward so that the pins can go around and under those metal hooks like that once that's in, you get your keycap, you put it right in the center, 
and push down evenly on all four sides. And that's it for the regular size key. So for the enter key, it's a little bit more pieces to it. This metal wire goes on the uh, fittings that are over here. It's like a metal loop and the other one's over here. So go ahead and uh, put that wire right through those fittings and under that second, uh, that third metal that's at the top. So it goes under this one here and through this loop and through that loop. Now you get your hinges and uh, you put these together the same way you do the other hinges. <clears throat> so you want to put this pointy part of the hinge because you can see that to the left it's rounded and to the right it's kind of square. That goes underneath this large hook here. And the other side of the hinge is going to click onto these two hooks there. So go ahead and put that square part underneath the large single hook first. Okay, now that that's in, we're going to stretch the hinges over to the other side in order for it to go under the other hooks. Then you get your other hinge because this one has two hinges. And same thing, you put this section underneath the large hook, stretch it, and put it underneath. So this is what it needs to look like. Now your keycap has a wire in the back also. This is the right position for the keycap, and that's where the wire goes. At the fittings that are to the very right or left, I mean. You want to open up your wire like this and flip flip your uh, key cap over and put it on top of the keyboard like this but then you want to flip your key cap so you can see the wires and this wire goes through the top fitting there and the very bottom one there so put the wires in through those fittings then you just turn your key cap over and you push down evenly on all the areas of the keycap in order for it to click onto the hinges and also onto the wire that's at the top. Now for the space bar, the hinges go here, here, there's a rubber cup in the middle and two fittings at the very left and right for the wire. So we determine the position for the keycap by looking at the keycap itself. You can see the top is cut square and the bottom uh, is kind of, it has an angle to it. So now you want to put your keys in this position, I mean your wires. Uh, the large one goes at the very bottom, in those fittings, and then there's the other wire goes on the fittings that are alongside. You can just copy the video. Now you turn over your keycap this way while the cable, the uh, wires open like this and you want to look at the wires so you can see where the fittings are you put the wire through those metal those metal loops you turn your key over and you click it onto the uh, hinges there and that's, that's it LaptopKey.com your source for replacement keyboard keys Notice when trying to repair your laptop keyboard keys, searching by the laptop brand and model may not always be enough information. Many times laptop manufacturers produce keyboards that look the same on the outside, however have differences underneath the keys. The differences include the hinges, retainer clips, and cup color. To help you find the correct tutorial for your key, we have created a searchable database at LaptopKey.com. Simply go to LaptopKey.com, select your laptop brand, model number, and then a visual list of key types will appear. Select the video tutorial that matches your key. That's all. You're now ready to fix your keyboard.